officials with the city of Elmira finally have an answer on if they can tear down the historic Brand Park Memorial Pool or not. And our very own Lindsay Madison spoke with the mayor on what's happening and also what's next. Lindsay. Nick and Renata, Mayor Dan Mandel says the city got permission from a state agency to go ahead and tear down the Brand Park Pool. Brand Park Pool was built in 1926 and was destroyed by a flood in 1946. The pool was rebuilt in 1949 and was dedicated to veterans of World War I and II. And less than 30 years later, the flood of 72 was a pivot point for the pool and there was a steady decline of people going. Fast forward to 2005 and that was the last year that it was open and it sat vacant ever since. Mayor Mandel says the city had a study done in 2010 to see if Brand Park Pool could be restored and reopened, but the estimate revealed it would take over a million dollars to fix it, and the cost has only gone up since. Mayor Mandel says despite the pool being rich in history, it's just too far gone. Uh, when I took office in 2016, uh, there was discussion of maybe trying to fix the pool, and even then, uh, the estimates came back to be like $4 million. It was a rough estimate of repairing the pool. And then when you factor in the cost of chemicals, insurance, hiring lifeguards, it just, it just wasn't uh, feasible for the city financially to renovate that pool and open it back up. Mayor Mendel says the plan is to tear down Brand Park pools sometime in April or May once the weather warms up and put a splash pad in. He also says they hope to memorialize the pool sometime in the future with a sculpture or a plaque.